Well, I was thinking of a new film in 2010 and I was thinking about the Olympics coming to London and the fact that the world was going to be in, in the city and, you know, be interested to make a film about, about that. And through that sort of thought process, I ended up, you know, because I, I, it's, it's very important for me to have a sort of specific space in the film. So I started looking around on the road where I live, actually. Um, and through, through that process, decided that that would be a, a good place to sort of base the film. It's very difficult with a film like this to get into cinemas because, you know, they're never going to be box office hits. And um, yet, yeah, at the same time, there's, there is a big appetite for, for these kind of films. And, um, and festivals are, you know, a really important part of getting the film out there. And, and also, it's a great way to sort of have an engaged, direct dialogue with an audience. You know, I mean, the film will go out on television, but of course I'll never meet most of the people that, that, that watch it. Whereas at a festival, you have that very direct kind of engagement, which is always really satisfying. Because I was always a, a buff movie fan. I always go to the movies, like every, when I was a kid. It was like, you know, fantas fantasy time, you know, going, escaping from life because life can be really a bummer, you know what I mean? For me, it was always to get away from, you know, uh, the fact that I didn't like school, the fact that I, you know, uh, uh, that, you know, it was kind of dreary where I was growing up. I, I really liked the idea of, you know, going into John Ford's world, you know, or somebody, uh, you know, uh, Orson Welles, or some, uh, you know, Lawrence of Arabia, or, you know, not, you know just getting out of the, yeah, and then the comedies, you know, you like to laugh. I like all my work. I mean, I, I may be the only one in the world who likes all of his work, but I, I do, I think it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch all the stuff I've done. Um, uh, they're all like your, your babies, you know, they're, they're whatever movie you make, you know, whether it's Death to Smoochie, Hoffa, whatever they are. You know, even TV shows that you participate in. Well. My sisters brought me to a, um, on a Halloween. I was the baby of the family. And they brought me to see two horror movies that I, I just, as soon as they started, I went down on the, behind the seat and uh, kneeled down on the sticky floor and looked through the crack of the seat. And uh, they were The Thing, which was terrifying to me. And another one that they, that they actually made me sit through, I was like, I couldn't have been more than nine years old or so, called The Dead Man's Eyes with Lon Chaney Jr. And it was like just a, I've seen it since. It's like, you know, not that, I mean, it's a guy who, if somebody's jealous of him, he sticks acid in his eye wash and the guy, whose his eyes bubble out or something and then next thing you know, he goes to get a dead guy, he kills a guy to get his eyes. It's a, so, you know, one of those wacky, like, uh, uh, horror movies. That, but I, I like those kinds of things, I mean. But those were, those were really uh, shocking to me.